All right. I wasn't going to do this, but I'm going to do it. And then here's my only request. You tell me whether I should do stuff like this. Over the weekend, our team found a handful of clips of me being criticized by other people ostensibly on the left for things I supposedly said about the Israeli Hamas conflict. Fine. Uh, in general, I don't do tit for tat. Let me generate a war and respond to this stuff. I'm in, what I'm increasingly doing is not reacting to the vast majority of this stuff and really trying to take on a personal level an attitude of, hey, you know what? Not everybody's going to like me. If I find out someone who I don't know doesn't like me, it doesn't really affect my life in any way. And really, in addition to barely posting on social media anymore, really trying to consume the information that I believe is worthwhile, reading a ton, primary sources, doing my commentary and really tuning out the noise, because it's important to remember none of this stuff is real life. The fact that someone I don't know on the Internet doesn't like me really doesn't matter. And so it's important. And the way I've been thinking about it is in 10 years, will I regret it if I don't respond to pe random people on the Internet who don't like me? I don't think so. So I'm increasingly not engaging with this stuff. I am going to respond to one of these because it's the only person who said something in these clips that I actually know who they are. The other ones my team found. We have no clue who these people are. There's a guy named Vosh. Some people know him as Ian Vouch, who has a channel. He's been on my channel. I've been on his channel. So he attacked me and I'm going to play what he said and I will talk about it. And you tell me, is this a complete and total damn waste of time? Or is this in any way useful? OK, so let, let's take a listen. And just so you know, when he says Deepak, he's referring to me. There are some communities that refer to me as Deepak. Uh, OK, so let's listen. Did you say Deepak do just that? Deepak has always had really stupid uh, opinions when it comes to Israel. When I raised a bunch of money for the Palestine Children Relief Fund, he like offhandedly said it might be going to Hamas. OK, so let's let's start there. My opinions are stupid very difficult to respond to. No, they aren't, bro. Y your opinions are stupid. No, your opinions are stupid. They're not very substantive. My opinions are stupid. Then he says, I said the money he was raising was going to Hamas. Now, I looked for this. This was years ago where someone on my stream said, are you joining Vouch's fundraiser for X group? I didn't recognize the name of the group. And what I imagine I said, and I admit, I don't remember. I remember the event. I don't remember exactly what I said. What I imagine I would say is I am super careful about fundraising for any charity until I know damn sure everything about it. There are so many charities that we later find out it sometimes are funding Hamas or other groups. There's the Holy Land Foundation for Relief and Development. It turned out money was going to Hamas. The International Relief Fund for the Afflicted and Needy turned out money was going to Hamas. So if I said it, I would not have said Vouch is giving money to Hamas. If I said anything along these lines, it would have been, I don't know about that group. I'm super careful before I join any fundraiser. And in particular, in this case, because of that, there's nothing wrong with raising money for Palestinian kids. I'm just by nature skeptical of charities especially in opportunistic, fast moving situations. I wasn't able to find what I said. Let's continue. Here is Vouch's critique. My my positions are stupid. OK, he's always been like a Zionist parentheses negative. I've always been a Zionist. Now, again, how can I respond to that? Because at this point, Zionist as a word has essentially no meaning. I'll explain to you how the conversations usually go. You're a Zionist. Oh, OK. What exactly did I say? Well, you said you like the bombing of Palestinian kids. Oh, really? When did I say that? Well, I don't know. It's not that you said it, but it seems like you aren't as worried about. OK, Zionist is a really silly term right now because some people use the term as an insult, as an attack. Very few people use it to describe any cohesive set of ideas. So, for example, some people will simply say. 
I don't think it's legitimate to suggest that Israel as a country be eliminated to solve the Israeli Palestinian conflict. I'm one of those people, right? For me, the solution isn't going to be the destruction or elimination of Israel. The fact that I think Israel has a quote right to exist to some people makes me a quote Zionist. For others, Zionism means I believe Israel should take the entire Palestinian territories or I believe Israel should build more settlements or things I don't believe. So Zionist in this context tells us very, very little. What I can tell you is I'm against the illegal settlement in the West Bank. I want to stop the Gaza blockade. I want all violence to stop. I am an opponent of Benjamin Netanyahu's Likud party at just about every step. I don't believe Benjamin Netanyahu will ever be an arbiter for peace. I don't believe Hamas will either, by the way. So those are my views. But again, all it, I've, I've been called a Zionist and it's been used as an insult. And my positions have been called stupid. OK, got mad at me when I said that before, but like literally he's literally like it, it, like taking the worst possible positions on this. Apparently, his he won't name any of the positions. Right. Community is going after him for it, too, because like, yeah, it's getting increasingly unpopular to be just like a bloodthirsty psychopath when it comes to the ongoing destruction of the Palestinian people. There you go. I'm a bloodthirsty psychopath and my own community has turned against me. So listen, in terms of my community uh, uh, turning against me, you know, I've talked about a bunch of people canceled memberships. More people started them. We have more of a following on every platform today than we ever have in history. OK, the show is bigger today on every platform and we have more members today than we have ever had. You evaluate whether my community is turning against me. And, you know, when we when we start hearing stuff like bloodthirsty psychopath, I consider those ad hominems. I would love to get a list of the psychopathically bloodthirsty things I've said. So there's not much to respond to. I'm not going to do any ad hominems on Vouch. I'm trying not to engage in this stuff. I'm trying to just demonstrate, look, here's an attack. It's not substantive. It's ad hominem, bloodthirsty psychopath, stupid opinions, etc. There's no substance for me to respond to. And people can judge for themselves whether they think these are reasoned critiques or not. Um, I'm disappointed in Vouch. I am. Um, but I'm not going to respond in kind. I have no interest in ad hominems beyond there is very little substance there. Here's the bottom line. I'm fine being disliked. This is my new. It's sort of been my New Year's resolution, but I made it uh, like six and a half, seven months ago. I was on a particular trip and I read a really interesting Japanese book, Japanese philosophy book called The Courage to be Disliked. And I've really revised my views on a lot of things. I'm not everybody's going to like me and that's OK. And in particular, people whose views are so different than mine, like it's not super likely socialists are going to like what I have to say about a lot of things. That's OK. We can all exist. We don't have to resort to ad hominem. Sometimes people do, but we don't have to. And I am going to continue making an effort not to stoop to the ad hominems to keep doing my thing. And I think I think the show is going to keep growing. By the way, we're down to our last 14,000 YouTube subscribers before we hit two million and enter a, a class that has only two people in it right now. Brian Tyler Cohen and the Young Turks. We will soon become the third of three left YouTube channels with over two million subscribers. That's a positive thing that we can be excited about.